paint. Okay, if you have a pair of sandals at home that you're about to throw out, wait, wait, wait. You're going to watch this segment <laughs> first and you may change your mind. We have Chanel here with Chanel in real life .blogspot.com. Yes. And she's got all sort of awesome crafts on there. But this is a great little repurposing we're doing with the sandals, right? Yes. Like so so these sandals right here is it's kind of how it started. I pulled everything out um, my sandals this year and I and I have no idea why I bought these. It was they were on sale. One of one weakness, but every time I put them on, they had this huge flower. I couldn't handle it. So, so it's right here. Oh, this is what it looked like before. Yeah. The huge flower. So I cut it all off and then um, and then decided like, okay, I'm gonna start gluing stuff on. I literally used um, old jeans and you can see right here, um, over on these were pink. These are the same ones. You can see the pink inside. Um, but I tried to do buttons and we were saying this is what we don't want. So this is the type that you make at camp. And, which there's a place and a time, but I didn't want camp sandals, so I'm like, okay, not the buttons. And that's when I started to take old jeans and do it. Well, my friend said to me, why do you have old jeans at your house? And my answer to that is, you know, why, why wouldn't you have old jeans? You know, why, why, why wouldn't you have those? Because I'm a hoarder, and this is the time that hoarding pays off to where you can actually use and do all those projects. Because the jeans that I have um, are like, when I cut off like my, you know, my daughter's pants or my son's, you know, um, pants have holes in them like you can see right here uh, where I've used like the waist and different things on the pants um, just old stuff so I save it that way so I did these and then these are a couple more pair of sandals that I actually pulled and um, uh, can we talk about the belt you use for this yes raise your hand if you bought from JMR or the buckle, that's what I was this just gonna say. Belt. Oh my gosh! So I've had this belt for like literally. I bought it in college. It was like fifty dollars um, back in the day, and I was I was making minimum wage. So that's like a million dollar belt oh, in my head for so, sure. So I have not. I'm like I can't wear it. It's the seat belt, but I can't get rid of it. And so I finally was able to use it 15 years later um, and and do that. So, um, but yes, a lot of people have those. Um, with this pair of sandals, all I did um, was cut off the flower. That's the biggest thing, cut off the flower here. And then take some jeans. And the biggest thing I can tell you is detail on jeans. So, I mean, I, it's... Can we actually put one together? Yeah, Mary let's think? do. Let's do. I'm going to... I want to so, see these details you find. In. Yes. So, and, so what detail? I mean, you found like a little zipper here? Well, the zipper was from the side part of, of my daughter's um, pants. And so, um, you know, it's... Really, what I did was I took off the cuff. Mm -hmm. and well, that's smart because then it's like similar size to what you're going to want. Yeah, and so and so I you can I mean I just you know kind of lay it out you know anyway. But like so I would glue it on here just because you know, I don't know if I'll have time to like glue. By the way, liquid stitch is what you want to use if you're going to um, uh, do these. And I mean, when people say, oh, what would you take to an island with you? And some are like a book, you know. My foot, I'm like, no, liquid stitch because you can build a house with it and <laughs> it, it's awesome. Where do you get it? So you can get it at any craft store okay. that has it. And I, I just, I love it. Like, I mean, there's probably better ones out there, but for somebody that doesn't sew, um, this is the best, <laughs> this is the nice. best, next best thing. So you would glue it on here and um, then do you have to let it dry for a little yes, before you does. add the next things? No, no, not really. I mean, well, before you, you wear it. Yeah, but before not you wear it, you probably, you probably should, but I don't. So I'm just gonna put glue. I already feel like Chanel's my kind of crafter. Yeah, I, I said a lot when you know Brian was on here. I used, I said to her, you want your crafts to be um, the opposite of a man. You want them um, cheap and and easy. And uh, <laughs> and so I'm like, you, that, that's how a craft should be. And it, and it's just. You know, this is all reused stuff, and it's fast, it's cheap, it's quick. So anyway, I'm not doing a great job, but you can see how it is. Then I would do, you know, like I just kind of like start layering stuff. You had put, you know, this was off an old strap and stuff, an old belt um, that I ended up putting. Well, and if you haven't kept this stuff all the years, if you aren't like Chanel and I are, because we're both hoarders, yeah. go to DI. Yes, and that, you know what, that is, that's exactly it. Because I'll tell you, the difference between, I, you can't, and I love crafts, so, but, but you can't, this is, you can't cr go to the craft store typically and get a lot of this stuff for this. Um, I like it to where it looks, because you're gonna be, do, see how I'm just, like, like you're layering, you're sitting there, you're gonna glue this on, you're gonna cut off, you know what I mean? This from oh, the pants fine. and layer. So it looks, and tuck this under the button. So it looks like 
that's how it came mm -hmm. when really it's all layered that way. You know, know what I mean? If you can see this and just see how it looks, I mean, yeah. it looks like you bought this at the store too. Well, this is the thing. So let me get my crusty foot out. I'm going to show you how cute these are. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, me, did you make these? And the, these I, I did, like, now I'm going to, I didn't prom, let's see, I don't know which camera, but, um, so these, oh, hold, yeah, yes. hold up, say carpe diem, which means seize the day. Well, I didn't seize the day to make the craft I was going to use that for, but I did seize the day. I took an old belt, I have the belt there, took an old belt and put it around the shoe and then um, did carpe diem. And so I'm seizing the day with my shoes. I'm kind of cracking up because I have this belt too. Do you? Oh my gosh, you can so make like every pair of sandals that what? I have. <laughs> gosh, twinners. So yeah, so can you see, I don't know if you can see this. I'm like, how cute it looks on. Now keep it there because I'm going to show you the other one. So my, my feet kind of ruin it. And I wear a size 10 shoe. Oh, we are kindred spirits. Well, I pretend. It's like Dolly Parton said. She goes, I, I wear a size 7, but an 8 feels so good, I buy a 9. So really <laughs> I wear, a, you know, a, a size 8. Okay, so then here's this. Do you see how cute that is? That is fun. So it's like, oh, you wear this sandal, the plain one's up here, and they're like, oh, that girl's so average. And then you wear these sandals, and they're like, oh my gosh, who's the cool girl? I'm pretty sure no one ever says, who's that average girl when they see Chanel. Chanel, thank you so much for being here today. <laughs> Thanks. Everyone, be sure to go to Chanel in real life. Find out all sorts of crafts you can do, and just try to get some of her fun energy that she has. Thank you so much for being thank here, you. Chanel. Thank you. Go make some sandals. Mm -hmm. And we are going to talk to